Hello everyone, my name is Ajay and welcome back to our channel. Joining us today is Shrikanth. He was one of my roommates in Hyderabad when I was preparing for GATE and ESC. He was one of the most hardworking persons I have ever seen. He had been writing GATE exam from 2015 to 2020. Recently, he graduated from NIT Tirchi and um, he got an offer from NVIDIA with a CTC of 48 lakhs. Yes, 48 lakhs. So today he'll share his journey from getting a rank of 8,000 in his final year uh, to getting a job offer from NVIDIA. So over to you, Shrikanth. How are you? Yeah, fine, Ajay. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. So first things first, tell me, uh, how did you get this motivation? You have been writing gate exam from past five years and um, now you got a job in NVIDIA. Yeah, Ajay. Uh, from, uh, in the year like 2016, I gave my first gate attempt. So that time I could not get like better rank. Uh, I got just uh, 8,000 gate rank. So uh, then every year I was writing as you told. <coughs> so uh, I believe one thing, uh, till now we have studied uh, these many years. It's almost like 10 plus 2 plus 4. So these many years we have spent on studying. Uh, but if we settle for some normal jobs like service based companies with some less package like 4 to 5 lakhs. So it's like there is no meaning for that. So that's the reason uh, always I want to be uh, try for be some better option if there is. So that's the main motivation that I had uh, to write the GATE exam. Excellent. So can you take us through your GATE exam journey? Like uh, what was your ranks in your previous attempts and what was your best rank through which you got admission in NIT Yeah, I graduated in the year 2015. Uh, then I gave my first attempt in the 2015, but I just got around 7,500 GATE rank. Uh, at that time, like there is no much options for the MTech, mm -hmm. so I took the uh, job in some company. Uh, I was working there for around three and a half years, but every year I used to give my gate exam. Mm -hmm. But I was getting around like 4,000, 5,000. Uh, this way I was getting. Uh, so in the year 2020, 20, I got 4, uh, 477. With that, I joined NIT Tirichi MTech VLSA system. So Shrikat, what was your background? Uh, where did you study your B.Tech? In the year 2015, I graduated from Narayan Engineering College uh, from Nellur, uh, which is under Jain Devanpur University. So after that, uh, I joined uh, Semcarp Energy India Limited. It's a thermal power plant. There I have worked for around three and a half years. Before going further, if you are preparing for GATE or ESC, Yes Academy is offering online courses along with offline classes. Yes Academy needs no introduction, so I am directly coming to the details of this course. The special features in this online course are free online test series, comprehensive study materials, doubt clearing sessions and downloadable lectures. Yes, if you get any doubt, you can just raise an issue and they will clear your doubts within 12 hours time frame. So guys, what else do you need? You can use the code MATIC10 to get 10% off in any of these online courses. I will keep all these links in description. Make sure you go and check it out. Uh, so Shrikant, uh, how did you start your GATE journey? Uh, have you taken any coaching or uh, did you study on your own? Uh, in the year 2015, uh, I joined some local coaching institute in Nellur. There I got some foundations built up. Then uh, after that, I was preparing on my own every year. So in the year 2018, uh, I resigned from my job and joined AS Academy. I gave a GATE after that also like 2019 and 20. So in 2019, uh, I got around 2,500 gate rank, uh, which is like not good for uh, getting any PSUs or MD. So again, I took one year and prepared in the year 2020. So I got 420, 477. And even after that, I was giving gate attempts. Mm -hmm. So last year, I got some 300 rank, 2021. Oh, nice. Yeah. He was very ruthless when it comes to preparation. When we were in uh, Hyderabad, we all were roommates. Um, so I still remember I used to wake up at 7.30 or 8 and I, like I used to start my preparation around 10 o'clock. But he wakes up at 6.30 in the morning and straight away starts his preparation. He was a very hardworking person and uh, finally he got pretty good results also. So Shrikant, why did you leave your job and uh, started preparing for GATE? Is there any reason behind that? Yeah, Jay, in the year 2018, uh, as I was giving every year uh, the GATE exam, I was uh, somewhat good at technical subjects. So there was uh, some recruitment uh, with Bharat Electronics Limited, BEL on experience base, which they were asking some written exam and uh, followed by technical interview. So as I had some basics as I was giving GATE exam, so I could able to clear that exam and get in interview call. So I cleared that uh, interview and got, got final, select, final selection into it. 
So uh, when I went to medical examination, uh, there I came to know that I had a color blindness. Mm-hmm. That is that is the first time when I came to know that color blindness. Mm-hmm. So I was rejected because of that. So uh, then uh, that I took it uh, ego like. Uh, uh, I got some job but got rejected uh, because not my fault. You took it personally. Yeah, I took it very personally. So uh, that's where like I got a motivation to resign from my job and uh, join some coaching institute mm-hmm. uh, to crack to get into some ESUs or government job. So you left your earlier job to get into some government jobs. Yeah. So guys, that's a very uh, important point. If you have color blindness, you are hardly eligible for any government or PS2 jobs. Color color blindness is a very serious issue. If you have color blindness, don't prepare for government exams. Just uh, try to prepare for GATE and get into MTech. That would be a better option. Every year, if you see um, 10 to 15 people gets rejected in medical list, even in ESU also, every year 10 to 15 people are getting rejected. So don't prepare for any PSU or government exams if you have color blindness. So you were telling you got rejected due to color blindness. Then why did you uh, want to come into government sector again? Because you know the problem, right? So why do you want to get into government sector? Yeah, I know the like with color blindness, it's very difficult to get into a government job. As I said, like uh, most of the companies will see. So, but uh, I, that I took it very personally because uh, I got very good opportunity, uh, which is kind of my uh, one of the dreams from childhood, like getting into PSUs. Uh, but when I lost it, I felt it very emotional and uh, egoistic. Uh, then I uh, did a lot of research on that, which companies or which PSUs or which government sector uh, services won't see that. So I was not that good at general services, so I didn't take that option uh, as IAS or IPS. So uh, I was left with only option of uh, technical side. So uh, when I did research, there are some services in ESC which won't see this. Uh, color blindness like telecommunications and there are some POCs like ISTRO and a few services in DRDO won't see that color blindness. So that's the reason uh, again I prepared for government exams. There are only some services in ESC which don't care about color blindness. So ITS is one of those options. Other than that almost all the other services do take it very seriously. So mind that. Uh, so Srikanth uh, what happened after you came to Hyderabad? So how's the journey been like? After I came to Hyderabad, I joined AS Academy. Mm -hmm. Uh, I prepared for one year. Uh, So after one year preparation also, I just got around to the 500 gate line. Mm -hmm. So then uh, that time I felt very demotivated. It's a kind of situation like uh, uh, why I came, what's the need of preparing this. I I really went into uh, kind of depression state. Uh, But I just took some gap in between, like uh, I took around 15, 20 days gap and uh, I analyzed myself why I came here, what mistakes I did in the preparation, uh, where I was going wrong every year uh, because I was writing the gate exam for four years, uh, even that is with job, but uh, uh, it's not acceptable uh, failing four times in a consecutive. So uh, that is the point where uh, I analyzed myself where I was going wrong. So then I uh, like I got confidence. I uh, like I came to know the what mistakes I was doing. So then I started again. Uh, the year 2020 was uh, very fruitful for me. Mm. Uh, I got a 470 gate rank in the EC, and uh, I could able to clear ESC prelims and uh, got some PSU calls, uh, even ISRO. I also got an offer from uh, NDPC uh, when I was doing uh, masters from NIT Tichy when I was in the first year. So you got an offer from NTPC. Then yeah. why did you not uh, prefer NTPC? Because that's the reason you left your earlier job, right? Yeah, that's where like again uh, turning point came in my life. Uh, actually, I left the job for NTPC uh, for government job only. Uh, but when I joined MTech, I interacted with the many seniors and the people who are working in the industry. And I came to know that uh, the growth in VLS industry is far better, not only in the VLS industry, the corporate life growth is uh, far better than the PSUs. And the main thing why I left NDPC was remote locations. Uh, because the postings which we get in the NDPC or any uh, PSUs will be of a kind of remote locations. Even if you want to go some movie, it needs it takes around like five to six hours of travel uh, to find uh, some good theater. So that's a valid point, uh, location and uh, even growth in terms of uh, future prospects are much better in private sector. Yeah, and uh, last but not least, uh, compatibility in life. Mm-hmm. So that matters even when you choose your life partner, uh, 
like he will give a kind of options to his career or his or her career because they can work or it's up to them like whether they want to work or they want to be uh, free at home so it also matters a lot when you see it in long term and uh, kind of if we if you ask me like what kind of growth will have in psu let's say if you have started some uh, career in the psu and parallelly the other guy started the career in uh, some corporate sector the guy who started in corporate sector after like if you see him like 5 to 10 years down the line uh, he'll be like uh, uh, 5x uh, more times he will be earning than what he the other guy earning in psu so that's where the different comes absolutely yeah so those are some valid key points um, if someone is confused between psu and mtech or psu versus corporate lifestyle I'll, i'm just summarizing it um, in psus the life might be somewhat peaceful but the growth rate is very minimal if you compare a person who joins psu and a person who joins corporate life down the line after 10 years you might see the person who is in corporate might be earning 5x more than a psu person and also there is an option for your wife also if she wants to work she can work most of the corporate job locations will be in metropolitan cities only so your life partner can also work but whereas in psu it might get difficult i'm not saying it's impossible um, but it might gets difficult yeah uh, so shrikant why did you prefer nit tirchi over other iits you might have got some iits also with that rank uh, 470 so why did you choose nit tirchi yeah jay like by the time i was joining nit tirchi uh, there was pandemic was going on mm-hmm. and uh, many guys who were who had joined like other streams like other than vlsi was uh, like di- finding very difficult to get the job like they were unable to find the jobs yes. and the market was very tough but uh, the case in nit tirchi was not that like uh, i was getting the main branch that is vlsi systems mm-hmm. uh, which are like pretty good placements mm-hmm. So how's the placement scenario be like uh, wh- where were your friend- friends got placed and uh, where did you got placed in campus placements Yeah ji uh, NIT Tirchi like there is no difference the company is wishing for uh, what do you say uh, top notch IITs and the uh, NIT Tirchi because almost the companies which comes for any IIT will visit uh, NIT Tirchi also except few companies uh, like TSMC Google Google Hardware So many of my classmates got placed in Texas, Qualcomm, Synopsys, MediaTek, uh, and a lot more companies, and lot of devices, NXP, etc. So I got placed in Micron Hyderabad uh, along with six months internship. So he got placed in Micron Hyderabad. Again, he tried off-campus interviews and cracked Nvidia. So why did you try for Nvidia again? So I always believe in one thing: if you have any better options, try for it. Whether you get it or not, uh, just give it a try. so uh, that's where like i got nvidia uh, so when i was interning at micron uh, nvidia has a kind of recruitment off campus recruitment mm-hmm. so i tried for it and i got selected okay i think you might be still trying for other companies like google hardware or maybe abroad companies yeah for now i was not uh, but for sure i'll try he's a very ambitious person uh, so good luck for your um, future interviews also Thanks. and uh, Shikant uh, how's your college life in NIT Tirchi we really enjoyed a lot in college uh, the friends was fantastic uh, and i used to be very busy in the college uh, because not with academics uh, kind of sports uh, like roaming outside and we used to travel a lot of places which are very near to Tirchi uh, like monar kodaikanal uti pondicherry yeah i'm not sure about whatever he said till now what i know is he sees enjoyment in work he can work even for 12 to 15 hours a day also i am sure of that but i am not sure whether he enjoys uh, going places and uh, playing sports uh, so shrikant one more important question uh, so you have been writing gate from past many years right uh, yeah. so and you have been getting ranks in thousands range only yeah. uh, in the previous attempts so what was the key changes that you have implemented in your preparation uh, the changes which i made is previously i was not giving any test series that is a main uh, change i made so in the year 2020 i have given almost uh, 60 plus exams and uh, more than 10 plus grand tests uh, and uh, along with that uh, i have solved like previous year questions at least four times mm-hmm. so uh, for any aspirant these two things are very very important uh, solving previous year questions at least three to four times and uh, giving as many as test series 
सो थैंक यू सो मच श्रीकांत फॉर जॉइनिंग मी टुडे आई विश यू ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट थैंक यू अजय रियली थैंक्स गिविंग मी दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी इफ यू फाउंड दिस वीडियो हेल्पफुल मेक श्योर यू लाइक दिस वीडियो सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड हिट द बेलाइकन इवन इफ यू डोंट डू एनी ऑफ दिस आई थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो टिल नाउ Take care and I'll see you all in the next video. Yo, yo, microphone check, make it a microphone check. Give it a microphone, I make the make it a microphone dead. Don't step to me newbie, I can truly be moody. I could have played the fucking Grinch in the movies. I've been a <laughs>